Hi, welcome to tutorialwebdesign.com. Today we will learn how to design an effective sale banner for an e-commerce website. Here is the look. See, here is the banner. This banner has three main sections. One is for product, other is for content and third is this shop now button. So, let's start the process. I am minimizing it. Click on File, New and take the dimension of 730 by 300 pixel. First of all, press Ctrl plus R. When you press this Ctrl plus R, here, grids will appear. <coughs> we will design our creative in this area we left margin from all four sides to make it more readable press control plus j control plus j is a short command of layer via copy okay give some gradient click here Click this button and drag in between and on the white, on this blank space, click here. It will create one more uh, button to select colors from color palette. Double click it, select white or little bit gray. Copy this code. I think do some more light. Copy this code. Okay, click on in between. Do it pure white. Okay, click, click it here and place that code here. See, both gray colors should be uh, at same level with same hexadecimal code. Okay, press OK. Here is the base for your creative. Now, start it from zero. I have clicked here and drag the horizontal and vertical grid and place it here. It will start the grid line from zero horizontally or vertically. Okay. Drag the grid from left hand side and place it at 300 pixel. We will use this much space for uh, content part and this space is for our graphics part. Okay, as uh, see here, uh, this one. We will use this one content for, uh, uh, we will place this content in left side and this graphic in right side. Now come here. I have downloaded some raw images from uh, google.com. Here are the images. So I am using this one image. Okay, I think I should use this one. which I have downloaded from photodictionary.com drag it here press ctrl T to transform this press shift press alt and click top left corner I mean <coughs> top left corner and press it inwards it will shorten your image vertically and horizontally <coughs> sorry here is your product remove this photo dictionary and overwritten 
ओके जूम दिस something is missing in this product i am what i am doing is i am uh, copying uh, this thing from here and shifting it here press this layer this layer and press control e look here press control e it will merge both the layers plus control and minus here is your creative now we have to remove this white background zoom it by pressing control and plus sign see control press the control button and press plus sign again 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 and again it will uh, you know zoom the product and when you press minus it will zoom in select the pen tool and start cutting the image it hardly takes less than 2 minutes press control plus enter control shift plus i and press delete press control plus d to deselect it here is your transparent image i think we should uh, increase uh, the grayness of this background little bit look it here little bit down c6 c4 c4 is fine now this is fine click on this layer give some drop shadow effect to this opacity 29 or 30 is okay distance 5 speed 0 size this press it okay now we will use the left side portion of the banner for the content the content here is complete your kitchen with convention microwave ovens select horizontal type tool and start writing c o m p l e t e just a second so here this text is coming in white select it press control t and click here now this is okay be complete your kitchen with conventional c o n v e n t i o n conventional micro wave ones minimum m i m i m m minimum 30% of here is the content now what is the important in this content the important in this content is minimum 30% of because your user comes on the website for deal so what's the deal here deal here is minimum 30% of and uh, when user will see the banner 
here he is seeing microwave oven and uh, on the left side minimum 30% off is written then it is clearly understood that website or company is offering 30% off on microwave ovens so what we will do we will increase the font size of minimum 30% off select all text increase some height line height select minimum 30% off increase the line height of this let's make it already bold right click code and make it little bit more bold make this in first two lines it should come as a regular yeah that's fine minimum 30% off place it on the left side set the font size of uh, first two lines is around 16 pixel and 16 pixel is fine and the minimum 30% of set it to 35 increase the line height a little bit I think that's fine place it here and what we will do we will underline the minimum 30% of because this is the main text select the line tool or what I do is I just take this uh, rectangular marquee tool and add take new layer line press alt plus press first press D press alt plus delete if you think this line is little bit thick you can delete extra pixel from this line ok now here is the line increase this extra give some little bit space again increase the line height now here is the content and the image now sometimes user you know sometime for user discount is uh, not enough we have to provide some extra information what uh, other offers company is giving or brand is giving like warranty return and installation etc so we will describe here 30 days return brand warranty and free installation I have used here three icons for this I have downloaded icons from flaticons.com there are the icons one icon two icon and three icons open here are the icons one two and three we will use it one by one this icon I have used for brand this calendar icon I, I have used for uh, this 30 days return and third is this is for free installation because installation required some sort of tool set let's start creating drag this icon 
here second icon drag it here third icon drag it here close these icons this file because press control plus s reduce the size of this bigger icon when you reduce or increase the size of any element press alt plus shift <coughs> and start dragging from top left to top right corner of this of the object okay here i will use grid system click it here click it here zoom it all icons element will fit into this One, two, and three. Okay, I think these are little bit big. We have to. <coughs> decrease the height little bit i think this much is sufficient we press it here yeah this is okay this is also okay i think press it here reduce the size of this tool set also no press the t and start writing <coughs> the first icon is for 30 days return 30 days return t r fifteen auto regular little bit more right click and bold this and place it here 30 days return place it with the calendar icon click on any text icon <coughs> press control a this will select it and then press control t it will open text tool click here press bold increase the font size little bit <coughs> now that's perfect see <coughs> copy it here paste it here and then copy it here paste it here <coughs> brand warranty change the text b r a n d brand warranty w a w r a n t y brand warranty and the third is free installation free i n s d a o r l t i one free installation check the space between text and the icon it should be equal so best method is what i do is click it here and uh, press shift and right side arrow one time one Touch the icon. Press Shift and right side arrow one time. Press Shift and right side arrow one time. Then you can hide or hide the grids to see the uh, you have done till now.
now we will create a button button should be contrast in color press the wrong color, color. color. set, set the radius to 3 pixels that's sufficient color that should be black, black. Oh, sorry. sorry. Drag, Drag it here. here. Set the color, color to white. white. Right, right. Show, show now. now. Go. Oh, what I done? Just a second. Show, show. now. Select, select the this, this uh, round rectangular one layer, layer and, and show, show now button. button. Show, show now button, button and use this. Now, now we use one, one small, small arrow, arrow in front, front of show, show now button. button. Here is the arrow. Click, click on, on the shape, shape tool and, and select, select arrow from here. here. Click and drag. drag. Zoom it. Reduce the size a little, little bit. bit. Place it here. here. Right, right click, click on, on the layer, layer and rasterize the layer. layer. And, and cut, cut this, this extra, extra part. part. Zoom in. in. So, so here, here is the final look of your banner. banner. It, it has shown now, now button clearly visible. visible. Arrow, Arrow is only there. there. Minimum 30% of this is clearly visible. Now, now if, if anyone, anyone sees the banner, it is clearly understood that company is offering minimum 30% of on microwave ovens. So, in this, this manner, I have given, given some extra space, space on all four sides. Here, I have given less space, so you can change it. it. As, as per your need. need. And uh, for so step, step by step, to, uh, step, step, by step tutorials, for, for this manner you can visit our website www.webdesign.com. So step, step by step, fill the background grid and how much, much space I should take from. from all, all four, four sides, sides inside the image, image gives some, some effects. Add one content on the left, left side and then add some more content on the left side and then add show now button. And, and you, you can, can add some more elements, elements to make this banner more appealing, like a color line in text, text with some line, line height and text space in between elements. Now you can play with different text colors and backgrounds. Here are some examples. Let's start experimenting and if you have any query just